explosions. Yeah. And other stuff that we do during the day here at the Chicken Ranch Homestead. I'll see you in the video. All right. Hey folks, Rob, Chicken Ranch Homestead, here on the YouTube, just kind of getting up, uh, kind of try to see what I do today, make a video maybe of it, my kid's bugging me, says I need to make a new video, uh, alright, got some new life, let me turn it around, I'll show you, new life. Oh, there's a little guy. Seven of them. In our weed patch. Yeah. I knew she was hiding somewhere. And she stays outside, which really bugs me. Uh, hopefully she starts moving back into her coop. Because we need to get her a little more secure, a little more safer. All right, let's start out with releasing Fluffy. Fluff, Fluffy butt, where you at? There you are, what's up Fluffy? Fluffy's a coaching phantom. Her Americana chick, which is almost bigger than her. And her daughter. At least I hope it's a daughter. Come on. She's had those for a while. The Americana is a... Sorry for the son. Americana is a real king chick. Bought her for like 25 cents. They were close now. One wasn't enough. I figured I'd give her another one. We also gave our... Oh, jeez. We also gave our Americana some. Because she broke most of her eggs. And we wanted to break the brood. So we gave her some 25 cent checks. Uh, let's check this out. Fluffy bunnies. You need a new water dish or water feeder. I got another one. Clean this one out. Getting too much algae. Yeah, really need to clean out those drinkers. They're getting algae in them. All right, go and get some food. There's a mess in there. <coughs> Things we're doing today. Feeding animals. Twice. Once in the morning, once at night. Change some waters or clean them out. And I don't know what else we're doing. Oh, we gotta move the sheep. Okay. We don't feed great here because they're all feed free range. But I do use oyster shell. 50 pounds, pullet size. Barrel of feed. I haven't added any lately. I'll just toss it in. Take my scooper. Uh, you can see some pieces in there. That's good enough for me. Just 
chicken ranch goes through that's a Fortiflex. I believe it's an eight quart. We go through almost two of these a day. All right, let's get to feeding other chickens. What's up, Jenny? You want some feed? You want some feed before I feed those chickens? I think you do. All right, let's get you some feed. You stay right there. Yeah, yeah, you want feed. I'll go get it. Jenny has a love affair for goat feed. Goat feed pretty much is a sweet feed, molasses. Oats, corn. She's probably a little camera shy. She's also still very uneasy with us. She has her moments of good times, but she's about, oh geez, about three weeks away from another club trip. Just trying to get her host back into shape. But I got her back to eating from my hand and Melody's been able to pet her a little bit. But once we go to have her worked on again, she's not gonna be happy with us for weeks. I don't know what they did to her or who did it to her. I hope you pay for it one day. Cause this isn't easy. Sometimes she upsets us, but in reality, she's a pretty good dog. You good? Huh, girl? Want one more? Okay. We're going to be moving through the grass today. All right. That's Jenny and a couple handfuls. Hey, what's going on, Mama? What's going on, chickens? Oh, they made a mess. There's... I don't like that one. She likes to get into trouble. There's our big Americana. She's released all her kids. What's up, Bullwinkle? Nothing. Hey, Margaret. No, oh, they want food. Let's see how mean she is today. Oh, she's slung her eat. The chains, of course, want to eat. Goat feed. What's up, Gray? All right. What's up, Fluffy? Where's your kids? You let them go? No, they're right there. They want something. They're mad. Oh, well. Uh, where I've been feeding them. Pool was here. All right, hold on. Here they come. Man. They're waiting for me to leave. You guys have a good time. All right. All right, over 
to the other. So that, this'll be fun. What'd you guys do? Ugh, goats. Pigs. I left my duck in here last night, my Muscovy. Holy cow, here he comes. He's pissed. What's up, statue? Excuse me. I see feathers on them. That's not good. All right, let me get some food to him. Here. Press goes inside. There they are, they're eating. Um, there's three duck eggs in there. But she's really not sitting. They lay quite a bit. That's not a standard main girl. It's been squeaks somewhere in the hay. find her hey you in there knock knock she's in there she's sitting on a nest she's sitting on a nest in there uh, ducks I like the three we have I really don't want any more these hatch we'll be selling them Muscovy ducks. You've seen the man behind it. He's a beautiful, beautiful Muscovy duck. Gray and browns, some white. Uh, the one who's sitting right now is the brown and white um, hen. She's got really pretty colors. She should produce with him some very, very nice looking Muscovy ducks. All right. I got to deal with goats. I'm not ready to deal with goats yet. They messed up the electric fence somehow. All right, let me set this up. Minnie out there was laying. She wasn't moving. She just scared the bejesus out of me. I thought she was dead. All right, back to what I was doing. Gotta move the sheep again. You've all seen moving sheep, so I'm just going time lapse. Go from there. But all right, so we're done. Putting it up. I know it's boring. I hopefully kicked into warp speed for you guys, but there's Jenny. I don't know if you can see her through the shadows. She's waiting for new grass. Let's get him on some new grass. Get on with the day. You guys ready? New grass. Come on. Everybody. Come on, sheep. There you go. New grass. Come on, sheep. You coming, Jenny? Can't see. Got sun in my eyes. There she comes. 
Come on, girl. Come on. Yeah, that's a good Jenny. All right. Yeah, you tell them. New grass. They're out there. All right. Turn on the power and get on with the day. Yep, wood turning today. Sorry, radio's on. Uh, I have some blanks here that we got to turn today. Jack Daniels whiskey barrel. It's fun to do. We already got one on there. Um, my box on my dirty bench. We have some others that need to be sanded and finished. One more. Got some stuff to do. But yeah, my dirty wood bench. Got to get going on this. A quick note on wood turning. This is what we do here, or I do. It's kind of like a thing that I started doing during COVID. And it was something I was always interested in to doing as being a machinist for 28 years, a mold maker, tool maker, die maker, all that. Producing stuff is something I do using my hands. Well, my hands are getting worse and worse, but I just keep pushing on and forward. But this produces a small amount of money. It also produces a small amount of views. But like on TikTok, which is not even found under Chicken Ranch Homestead or Big Bad Toys, my Etsy store, anything like that, I have like Minecraft Wizard 1 is my handle there. I get about every video average two to 300 views, but, well, there's only three. So I'd average it out. We're probably around 750 views per video. I've had a couple go pretty good for like a thousand plus, which I like. And I've done a couple uh, things for people to do reviews on. I have a review, of course, from Jeremy something something crafts on YouTube and he does a bunch of other stuff. He's done a review. He didn't even ask for the product, which is outstanding. He just opened and did a review and then messaged me and told me he did a review. Then I had someone who gets hundreds of thousands of views, hundreds of thousands of likes um, on TikTok, did a review for me. And it's a hopeful thing to produce more money here on the homestead with that. I don't know if it's going to work out. But I've had a couple orders since those reviews have gone out. So that's that on woodworking and whatever. But always find my link down there or some. I think I have it down there. If not, I will on this video of my Etsy store and see what we're selling. All right. Get on with the day. All right. End of wood turning today. At least for now. It's getting time for um, nighttime uh, feeding. So let's see where we're at. Or see what I did today. Well, today I got four acrylics done. And six uh, spectra ply pieces. Rough. I got some others that need to be finished, so I'll probably do those all in one day. Maybe tomorrow. I think I got, I don't know, hold on. About six others. So maybe we'll get to that tomorrow. All right. I'm pretty sure I've showed this before, but this is like my bulk mix. I mix it here myself by hand. It has sugar beet pellets, corn, wheat, oats, barley, steamed barley. This is something that... I, thanks, Rooster. This is something that I add to the goat's feed and to the pig feed. I usually use this as kind of a filler along with their feed. All right. Well, bad shells. This is my pig feed. This is a 16% pig. I'll be dropping down to 12% here soon. Whoops. 
but it's ground powder, mash, corn, whatever. I think I've put the mash percentages in before. But this is my pig feed. All right. All right. I'm at the water cart. I always refill this at night. Um, but you saw my food. I've showed the goat food before, I believe, but I will point down to it soon here. <clears throat> but what I do is I take a scoop of that one bulk barrel, scoop of, scoop and a half of the goat feed. And that's why I'm feeding all the goats. That includes the two pygmies and back along with uh, Margaret and the ones that are out in the pasture. And that's what they get. So they essentially get an eight quart bucket full and that's a decent amount of weight. All right, there's my goat bucket. Um, <clears throat> I mix it up by hand. It has a lot of molasses in it. And if you don't get molasses on it, they won't eat it. So I mix it up. I mean, they will eat it if they're hungry. But, you know, if you have goats or ever had goats or wine to have goats, they always act like they're dying. They always act like they're hungry. They always act like a crybaby. I can hear Curly. He starts crying about 4.30 because he knows time is coming. Yeah, I'm pulling the cart. It's kind of heavy. I'm going uphill. Weaving through everything. Sorry for the shake. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, hear them all. They're going nuts over there. They're all dying. Oh, they need food. All right. Pigs will start getting fired up here in a second. All right. Listen to them all. All right. I'm going to set up the camera. We'll feed the darn goats. That's his off. Oh my gosh, you're all dying. Whoa, geez. You're all dying, you're starving. Don't attack me. What's up, Bucky? Hello, Pack. Hot down. Down. Hey, pigs. Usually there's some corn that sits back and Vinny gets it. A little Bantam rooster. I think he's staying. Yeah, I've said that before. All 
All right, I'm at the back. Water for the goats and checking uh, for eggs. And there's no eggs. Ever since Silver sat on eggs, they really don't go in those nesting boxes. We have that rabbit hutch that's still sitting out back there. I need to clean up and get taken care of and get a roof on and whatnot. But what they do is they go through the open doors and they lay in the old rabbit nesting boxes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'll go through there and holy smokes. Well, either someone has a cannon. Someone had to stick a dynamite, but all my sheep came running. I'm sure you got that on video. That happens around here. Oh boy. What, Margaret? Let's go find out what's wrong. What's wrong, Margaret? Did she get, you okay? Are you trapped? Hold on. Yeah. Well, we couldn't figure out what it was, but I thought Margaret was stuck under the rock, but no, she's just a little scared. She's sitting there eating grass. All right, not sure what that was. Okay, well, part of living out in rural America is every now and then there's explosions. I, uh, no sign of smoke, fire, anything. So I'm saying was someone had a homemade cannon. <laughs> you know, there's that one thing about, well, they decided to show up at my neighbor's house. That was kind of perfect for that one. But usually they use automatic gunfire for that. That mean. But, uh, yeah. That's kind of my day is I go through and get up in the morning and feed everyone, let everyone out. And then uh, I work during the day or I sit around and play Minecraft or I sit around and do something else or we go to an auction or something. But usually the midday's filled with something. And then at the end of the day, we run through and we feed them again. I'll come back out and I'll shut the chickens down when it gets dark, but I'm not gonna film that. Uh, I also put out hay for the goats, which they're being really mean to each other right now. At least the girls are, Minnie and Patch. And then for some reason, uh, Rhyme is getting into it today, but I don't know. I just, I need to either buy another one of those tartars or uh, just build something. But we're going to have some builds coming up soon. Uh, it's getting close to winter, so we got to get humping and get a side yard for the sheep to at least be off of the pasture for winter. And once the grass starts, once the grass pretty much is going dormant. So, till next time. And I have a video that I'm producing at the same time as this for diamond pen turning, which... It'll be on a list, on a playlist. I'll put a playlist over there. Maybe it's over there. It's one of those places. But uh, that's it for this video. I'll see you again. Um, stay safe. Stay strong. And I'll see you again here at the Chicken Ranch Homestead. Peace.